So this morning, David, we should be waking up, of course, after TV's biggest night of the year. Is that what Carl is? Yeah. Did he go up for it? He went to the Logies, he even though there it. was no party. Why not? <laughs> but we do know when the Logies, they were cancelled this year due to the coronavirus lockdown, of course. Yeah, there's no doubt our entertainment industry, I mean, it's symbolic, isn't it? It's been decimated by this crisis. But there is some positive news. And our next guest, Aussie actress and favourite, Kerry Armstrong, is here to tell us all about it. Kerry, great to see you this morning. Oh, it's good to see you two. And David, you're doing beautifully. Oh, well, look, coming from you. Praise <laughs> indeed. Thank you for that. Listen, well, let's talk about, um, you know, you've woken up early with us this morning, but you could have easily been waking up after the Logies. I mean, do you feel like you missed the party this year? Or do you miss just, I mean, the industry celebrating as a whole? I do. I think what we are, we're such a big family and there's so much kind of support. It would have been good to see everybody just to see how they're travelling. But... You know, just this phrase, we're all in it together. What we've done, which is fantastic, we've got this new SF3 smartphone film festival that's actually going at the moment. And that's what I want to talk to you about because um, Ali, Crew and Angela have been doing this for the last three years and we've now started an ISO category, which means that you can make a film on your smartphone for anything up to three minutes and we'll be judging them entries closed 1st of August. But what we're doing is we're trying to celebrate and say you can make a film on your smartphone as long as you want it to be. It can be a feature. It can be an animated film. And the great thing is this year we've got a kids category. Ah. So the whole yeah. thing has to be shot and um, edited on your phone. Um, is there any limitations on who can enter? No. Anyone can enter at all. Well, we've got the kids is under 16 years um, and we've had some incredible entries over the last three years. We had a young girl from Western Australia who was, um, I guess, being bullied because she was wheelchair bound and she made the most kick ass mm. film that you've ever seen with two friends. And I think what it showed is that hopefully you've just got a phone and it empowers you in a way because not a lot of people can actually afford these huge cameras, budgets. That's what we've been used mm. to. Yeah. But what I like is I've got three boys who are all making films. Um, and if you've got someone, I mean, your three, David, at home, they would they would be perfect. Tell them to get an entry in 1st of August and um, and we'd love to see them. I wonder <laughs> be careful be what the you wish for. Yeah. In that careful what you, wish, what you wish for. I'm sure Betty will step up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, you... You are one of the judges, though, mm. Kerry, and just to sh let viewers yep. know what we were in for, here's a clip of last year's winner. What, what is it? What did you do? Nothing. How is this nothing? Um, I stepped on him, but it was an accident. He was just lying there. Hey, I don't know if I can deal with this ATM. I think he must have had a heart attack or something. Oh, my. Do we call the police? We can't. What do you mean? I mean, we're an hour and five minutes late for the wedding. We have to do something. All I did was step on him. I'm, I'm pretty sure that he was already dead. He's got kids, Ella. He's a Nazi, Jacob. OK, she's got a point. Gabs. Well, just think of how this looks, right? We've got three privately educated Eastern Suburbs Jews literally covered in the blood of a much beloved family man. Wow, OK, so... A little bit darker there's a lot than I was of, I mean, expecting. I mean, we chose an intense part of that movie, so <laughs> this year are you going to be looking for a comedy? Yeah, it'll be a little bit comedy. We honestly, it was so tongue-in-cheek, that movie. It's, uh, to my mind, please, please, please pick up your phone, entries close August the 1st, and we'll be, we'll be judging and the finalists will be sometime in October. It'll be fantastic, honestly. Um, it's a way to kind of, I guess, come out of ISO and know that there's a whole bunch of really interesting things going on in this country mm. and people supporting mm. themselves over all, all, all areas. So, yes. I'm still freaked out from that <laughs> short film. It was That's what great. short films can do. That's the power. The power of short films. Get yours in now. Kerry, great to see you. Mm. Take care. Yes. Well, see you guys. Bye. Thanks. Thanks. Take mm -hmm. care.